In terms of uh, major challenges and successes for field support in 2013, it has of course been a very busy year. Uh, we supported over 30 operations, both from uh, DPKO and the Special Political Missions. Uh, a number of these were startups, some of them were uh, new deployments. Uh, key in, in the startup missions obviously was Mali, and uh, then we had the new political mission in, in Somalia, the uh, Office of the Prevention of uh, Chemical Weapons and the United Nations Joint Mission for the destruction of chemical weapons and then the force intervention brigade in DRC were, were the highlights. But that does not mean uh, that the support that we require for ongoing missions uh, is in any way unabated uh, and we needed to continue with that making sure first of all that we support the safety and security of the people who are there, uh, that we uh, work to establish the, uh, the troop movements and uh, all the assets that are necessary uh, to help the missions, particularly to fulfill their protection of civilian mandate. And uh, as we realize that many missions are getting uh, mandates which, which provide more responsibility on them. And all of this we have to do within a context of understanding that we need to manage resources better. And uh, so the peacekeeping budget is almost at 8 billion now, and therefore the, uh, the need to make sure that we are in a, able to cut costs uh, is, is more pressing than ever. And in that regard, we have brought down per capita costs of troops to 15%. Uh, we have also reduced costs in aviation, in uh, vehicle transport, and through the establishment of shared services, we've been able to cut uh, resources in human resources and, and, and finance. We have done a lot more to move towards intermission cooperation, and this year we also had a landmark development in launching Umoja, which provides us the platform to make even more efficiencies in the way we do our business processes. In terms of priorities for field support going into the next year, uh, you know, we will continue to do the work that we have started on our global field support st uh, strategy which uh, looks at resource efficiencies. We are in the home stretch of the global field support strategy and uh, that includes uh, the concepts of supply chain management, uh, shared services, using uh, Umoja and linking it to Umoja to see what efficiencies can be done. We are looking at greater capabilities of the troops. Uh, we will have to do peacekeeping in a much what I call smarter way, which is to use new technologies uh, to be able to impress on member states uh, to provide us with capacities that enable quicker and better mobility of troops where we need them most, uh, and also look at, to look at the improved coordination in planning uh, within uh, DPKO, with the Office of uh, the uh, Military Advisor, with the IOTs, with DFS, uh, and likewise also with, uh, with uh, DPA. You know, in starting a year, we never know what the political challenges will be, what the security situation in the world will be, but I think the key for us is to have that readiness to respond. And again, we will be doing everything that we can so that we are able to respond should a crisis erupt anywhere.